Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, Kai. Hey guys, what message by Kai? I'm Kai, and today we're back once again. Um, probably gonna get copyright strike for that because you know my voice is just sounds so much like the song they're gonna think it is. That's unfortunate. Hey guys, what's going on? We're back, and today we're making some like 2D looking slime kind of thing, like. You, you, you'll see, and I'm going to animate it as well, so it'll be really, really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I've done something like this in the past, um, but it's been a long time since we've used Meta Balls. This is what we're going to use today. So hit Shift A, and we're going to search. Uh, sorry, we're going to delete on default cube, so delete. We're going to grab the uh, camera, and I'm going to hit Alt G to clear the location, and Alt R to clear the rotation. Then on my keyboard, I'm going to hit R, then X, and then on my numpad, I'm going to hit 90, and then left click to confirm that. So we just rotated the camera 90 degrees on the X axis. I'm gonna go ahead and G and then Y and move the camera back, back there. Left click to confirm that and hit zero to go into the camera's view. Now we have the camera set up. We can go ahead and add the meta balls, which is shift A, search, and then uh, meta ball, obviously. And you can grab a ball, hit S to scale it down because it's way too big right now. I'm doing a little tiny little thing up in the corner um, because I really like the way that it looks. So hit G to move this over and up to the top. So half of it is like off of the screen like that, as you can see. So there you go. I uh, use my mouse wheel to zoom in and out here and hold down shift while clicking your middle mouse button, the button in the middle of your mouse, your scroll wheel. And then just go ahead and pan around like that, as you can see, and then just scroll wheel. All right, cool. So uh, with that now, I'm going to hit uh, shift D. To duplicate this so we have multiple different pieces that all connect to each other that's the great thing about meta balls you see when they get close to each other they kind of like zoom in like that and they kind of like uh, go together which looks really cool so I'm gonna go just put that one right there hit s to scale it up a little bit and just do this over and over again until I have a nice little base for uh, the pieces of slime that I really want there which looks really really cool it's gonna make a little arch right there just so it looks like there's some kind of thing stuck to the ceiling I like the way that looks quite a bit uh, I'm gonna hit, actually hit s to scale this last one down about like that there we go now we'll grab this one over here hit G and then we'll start making these little pieces that come down you know famous little pieces on slime that come down hit G shift D to move them and and, uh, and and add more of them of course there you go something like that and probably make this one a little bit smaller than that something like that maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. hit S to scale them and I'm gonna move this one hit G Y and move this one up so like that so little line right here I'm trying to get rid of that a little bit so move it up it kind of bridges them together a little bit more um, there you go, and then scale this one down. I'm trying to make them all very consistent, if you can't tell, so there you go. And then hit G, uh, Shift D, sorry, duplicate it, and maybe do one more over here, maybe a bigger one. There you go, and then we can just pull it down like that. Just a little tiny one over here. Maybe make this one a little bit longer. Add another, uh, meta ball in there, in the middle. Yeah, you'll love to see it. Alright, there you go. So that's basically, uh, that's basically that. Now I'm going to grab our camera just so we can see better. Go to the camera tab. Go to camera. That's right. No, go to viewport display. My bad. And then turn passive part 2 all the way up like that. So now you can see this is basically what we see, which looks really cool. I'm actually going to move this, um, this piece right here. Nope. This piece right here up a little bit. So the one in the corner, move it up a little bit just so it's not like super crazy there you go like that nice you love to see it now I'm gonna select the entire thing which just click it and then go to the material tab here hit a little drop down go to material and then change the base color to green like that actually sorry we're gonna go to our principal BSDF and change it to a mission first and then we'll change the color to green there you go got ahead of myself now if we go to the rendered viewport shading right here at the top right with the little the fourth button right there you can see that it is now green I'm gonna go ahead and go up here grab the lamp right there because we don't need a lamp hit delete because we do not need that. Um, now, one more thing we got to do before we start animating things is I want to make sure we have the actual color. So go to Render Properties, Color Management, and then change it from Filmic to Standard. So now we have the actual green color instead of it being like a tinted, like like filtered green color. Go to the World tab, change the color to solid black, and now we're crack a lacking. Uh, if, we un if, we, if we uncheck overlays and get rid of all the GUI, you can see this is what it's going to look like. Now you can see it's very low poly, which doesn't look good. So let's go ahead and select it real quick. And then go to this tab right here, which is the meta ball tab, the meat ball tab. And then just change the uh, resolution down as far as it goes, which is 0 0.05. And then match that with the render. So 0 0.05 hit enter this is the viewport and this is the render so it's like two different ones so you have to make sure that um they're both at the same thing because it will render at the smaller 
uh, resolution and it'll still look low poly. There you go. Now, I don't like what, whatever's happening right here. Um, this could be different. Like this piece needs to look a little softer through here. I got to find the right one. See, finding the correct one sometimes is a little bit of a pain. But let's uh, turn off that real quick. Grab a couple of these until they start looking better. A little softer through there. Pull that to that side. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Okay, cool. All right, now. Um, now we have one more thing to do. I want to animate this a little bit. So it looks really cool, but I want to animate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... I'm going to go back to the solid view portion. Actually, I'm going to go to material, which is the third one right here. So go to material so we can see the green, but we can still see the background and we, we can see what we're doing because it's not black. All right, now I'm going to grab one of these meatballs and hit shift D to duplicate it and put it up all out of the camera's view up, up, oh, up here. Right. Then I'm going to the first frame. I'm going to make my start frame uh, down here zero. So change this to zero. And then on the zero frame, I'm going to hit I with my cursor inside of the uh, inside of the viewport up here. Hit I to enter a location keyframe. And then go to like frame, I don't know, 30. And then, well, that's yeah, maybe 30. And then we'll just hit G, Z, and then move it way down here. And then hit I, location. Now, you can see when I play this, this uh, ball will kind of fall all the way down, which is very slow. So we're going to actually fix this. I'm going to go to the render tab. And I should start the, the second tab, the output properties tab. Change the frame rate to 60. And then we can go ahead and hit play. It's still super slow, obviously, because especially because the um, the uh, viewport is is really like high resolution. So let's actually go ahead and turn that back up so it doesn't like lag as much, just so we can see the viewport. Let me play again, much faster as you can see. But it doesn't really look like something's falling. So we need to fix that real quick by doing one simple thing. I'm actually going to stretch this out to 40, um, because it looks like it kind of just goes through it, which is what it's basically doing. So I'm going to go to frame about 10. And we're going to kind of make it just come down to here like that. And then hit I, location. Maybe change that to frame 20. And then move this to frame 40. Hit G to move these keyframes, by the way. So that's still way too much, I think. So we're going to do like this. Just kind of ease it in. Um, just adding keyframes and hitting G and Z to move it down. And then I to insert a keyframe. I think that stops too much now. Yeah, maybe. I'm trying to get to make it look like it kind of stays on the uh, rest of the big chunk for a while and put, until it actually breaks off. So let's actually go ahead and let's go out of the camera's view, grab that, and then put it maybe a little closer, like there, I, location. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, cool. So I kind of wanted to make it look like it was kind of like dripping off of it first before it kind of just like fell all the way off like that which looks really cool so i'm gonna put this to 80 actually there you go there you go actually maybe 70 yeah okay so it kind of like comes and drips off there which is cool you could have it collect at the bottom by just making it stop on the bottom um but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna have it go all the way through because it looks cool and i want to loop as well so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna pick my in frame which is gonna be maybe 150 uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll leave it on 250 actually, we'll leave it on 250, yeah, 250 is good, and then I do want to very, very quickly grab this little piece here, and kind of animate this, like, to make it look like it's kind of just like bouncing around a little bit, just moving a little bit like that, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to very, 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 very carefully <laughs> add in a location, I'm sorry, yeah, a location keyframe, right, on the first frame, then on about frame, maybe frame 20, We'll just move it to a random location, maybe down into the right eye location. Then maybe on frame 40. With G, move it maybe to the left a little bit and up a little bit, maybe. I location. Frame 60, same thing. Kind of like a, another, maybe like a down, a little bit more straight. I got to keep in mind of physics as well. So I kind of want to go from left to right instead of going to right twice, you know. Um, so, yeah. Maybe move it up a little bit. And let's see what this looks like so far. Yeah, so it's a nice base. We have to do some things to, to it, obviously. But um, it's a nice little base so far that we have. I'm going to go ahead and keep uh, working on this. I'm actually going to grab this keyframe and duplicate it over. And then maybe this one and duplicate it over. And just kind of just fill the rest of this space out with a couple of these random ones. I'm shift D, duplicate it, uh, and pull them over to their new homes. There you go, right there. And then we'll do one more and put it off the edge. Um, and we'll grab this. We have to grab the first one, hit Shift D, move it to 250, and I'll kind of like cheat this one and move it over. Yeah. 
All right, cool. So it looks kind of weird now. Let's actually put this back up so you can see exactly what it looks like. Oh, it's going to be slow. A little bit higher. There you go. Um, point 13 is fine. All right, so what we're going to do now, now that we have that done is we have all these keyframes. I'm going to go ahead and grab the one right above the keyframe, the, the piece that we just did, which is this piece. I'm going to grab this one, hit delete, and then we're going to just grab the one we just did and hit shift D and then just move it up. Hit S to scale it down a little bit. Um, like that and then now we have the same keyframes but the issue is, is they move like together obviously so if we move it up it's just going to go back to where it was so what we need to do is hit tab and then hit gz and move it up like that and then hit tab and now you can see it, it stays up there but the issue is, is that they move together which doesn't look good so i'm going to offset this one by about 30 frames so hit g and then move it like that i guess there you go so looks really cool but uh, we need to do this with a little bit, a couple more of them, obviously. So we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, and do this with a couple of the other pieces. Like for instance, this one right here will do the same thing. So I'm just do a couple of these off camera, and I'll be back once they are done. All right. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm just adding in some other keyframes in here just to smooth things out a little bit. So I'm, I I turned on automatic keyframe right here, and I'm just selecting the one piece that we have here, the one that was down at the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and um and just move it around a little bit so we have all these pieces in between that's kind of like going crazy so so far you can see it looks like that it's kind of moving around a lot more but i think i want to um i think i want to change the frame rate off of 60 because i think it looks a little a little strange on 60 because i don't really necessarily want it to be uh 60 frames per second so we might change it down to um to 30 in a moment but let's go ahead and just move all the rest of these really quickly and you can see that we have a nice little thing going on here and i play this now you can see that it kind of moves around a little bit which looks really nice and really cool um, but we have a couple of things that i want to do so let's change the frame rate to like i said maybe a little maybe 30 like that um and uh and that looks really cool i like that quite a bit just a little bit of motion on it which looks really cool now what i want to do is the last thing is uh, i'm going to drag open the, le the left hand tab here and put my cursor up in the top left until it turns to a plus and then just kind of move it over obviously and then turn this uh tab right here try to hit this little button and change this to the da -da -da -da, where is it at? why can't i never find this uh, the graph editor there you go now with this uh, piece that we have selected you can see these are our keyframes and this is the mo motion that it's doing if I hit a to, s to select everything and then uh, go up here to oops, there we go go up here to um, channel yeah go to no key sorry go to key and then we go to interpolation mode we can change this uh, the type over here which is really cool so we can change it to elastic or bounce I'm gonna try um, elastic for this so it's gonna kind of move a little crazy as you can see so we're gonna need to tame this down if you want to do it so you want to go ahead and hit, oop, there we go wait there you go so you can hit uh, you can you can scale them but what I'm gonna do instead is I think we might instead of instead of using bounce because it's gonna be kind of crazy I kind of want to see what da, 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 da. I kind of see what back looks like back might look really good depending and it kind of just like makes it do this really weird like stuttery kind of thing which looks kind of cool I don't it's not like super realistic but it looks really cool though I'll tell you that um, but yeah so you can do a couple different types of interpolation modes if you really want to um, but for now I think I'm gonna just leave it on uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it on the one that it's on or I might turn it to linear instead of what it is on right now um, you can even do any of these in the circular or whatever else um, but you can see that there's like a really really specific kind of style to it But I kind of wanted this to be stylistic because it's you know, obviously, you know 2d slime and it doesn't look like super crazy. Oh, that looks really cool. I like the way that looks Kind of moves in a really weird. Oh, yeah, I like the way it looks. Okay, cool So I'm gonna leave it on that actually. Let's let's take a look at uh, at linear just real quickly. This is gonna go straight through I don't like that. It looks kind of like droney um, What is this? That's too much. Okay, cool. Let's put this back on two. So I have, this, I think I had it on quadratic. There we go. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks really cool. So now we can duplicate this. Hit Shift D, move it up. Hit S to scale it down a little bit, and then hit Tab, and then we're gonna have to hit G Z, move it up because obviously when it goes back, it's just gonna go back down there. So uh, wait, let's uncheck. Um, let's uncheck uh, auto keyframes. So now when we move this, you can see that it doesn't do what I just did. There you go. So when we move this hit tab gz and move it up you can see it doesn't do that so now it moves up there shift d and we can move one back down there you go and then tab move it down s to scale it up there you go so now they move together which doesn't look that cool so we need to offset them by a little bit which i'm going to do by hitting uh by hitting g and then moving it over a little bit there you go 
and now they move separately. And that look, that, that weird like animation looks so cool with it. I don't know why. I really like it. There you go. So all you need to worry about now is the last keyframe needs to be the first one. So make sure that you get rid of all of these. And the last keyframe is on the last frame. There you go. And the first one, might as well put on the first frame as well. There we go. So that looks really, really cool. And I don't know why I like that so much. But we're going to go ahead and do the same thing one more time. So hit Shift D, duplicate, pull it up, S scale down. And then when it plays, it's going to go back down there. So hit Tab, G, Z to move it up. And now they are fully connected once again. And I'm going to offset this one to the front. So I'm going to make this one go first. So hit G, move all these to the left. And then I'm going to have the first frame not be this one. So hit delete on that. Grab this one, G, put it back to the first frame. And now we have this. So all three of those pieces move and it looks really cool and I don't like really weird and it look, I don't know what that what it is, but it looks really cool. Um, and then we do the same thing with all of these pieces as well. So I'm going to go do that really quickly and then I'll be right back. All right. So I've done all of the little pieces here. And as you can see, this looks really, really cool. I'm going to just get rid of that real quick. As you can see, it looks really cool. You can do this with all the other pieces if you want to as well with these pieces up here. But I feel like that doesn't make too much sense for them to move because they're kind of like stationary. But these little drippy pieces, obviously, that looks really cool. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. That is basically how you do that right there. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.